into the soft light of this Florida dawn emerges Friendship 7, making its debut to the day of its destiny. The Mercury Atlas stands alone, waiting to depart this Earth. A quarter of a million pounds of rocket with thrust equal to three and a half million horsepower. All to hurdle a 168 pound astronaut into space. Astronaut John Glenn of New Concord, Ohio. Lieutenant Colonel, United States Marine Corps. Married, father of two teenage children. Glenn has been a pilot over half of his 40 years, has flown in two wars, and is a veteran test pilot who five years earlier established a transcontinental flight record as the first man to average supersonic speeds across America. He volunteered for space flight, is one of seven astronauts selected for Project Mercury, the man in space program directed by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Never in all of history have so many people shared an adventure of such magnitude. The time nears, and soon, this Earth path indicator in the capsule will begin showing John Glenn his changing positions above the world. Latest check, pressurization. Go. Locks tanking. Have a blinking high level light. You are go. Water systems. Go. Range operations. Mercury capsule, go. All pre-start panel lights are correct. The ready light is on. Eject mercury umbilical. Oil evacuate. Mercury umbilical clear. Mercury Let's evacuate. Go. Lights on. All recorders to fast. T minus 18 seconds and counting engine start. May the wee ones be with you, Thomas. Good Lord, ride all the way. Godspeed, John Glenn. Ten. Nine. Seconds leaving a nice paper trail now. It looks real fine. Cape is go. We're standing by for you. Roger. Cape is go and I am go. Our capsule is in good shape. All systems are go. Roger. 20 seconds to Seco. Seco. Roger. Sustainer engine cutoff. The moment when the final Atlas engine will shut down. When Friendship 7 should separate from the booster rocket and begin orbital flight. Seco. Lots of grades fired, okay. Adjust that. Roger, zero G, and I feel fine. Capsule is turning around. Oh, that view is tremendous. To John Glenn, now belongs an awesome panorama. The world curving beneath him, just as it was filmed from an earlier Mercury capsule. 